Good morning. This is the first video as I start my built-in bookcases. As you can see, I've already I actually got some on Facebook Marketplace for £10. I think they're 35 so a bit of a saving. It's literally at the end of my road, really close. So I bought that. And I have bought another one from Ikea in the 800. So I'm using a 40 and an 800. So it's 120 and the gap is about 145. So it's perfect for me to have some detail around the edge. The builders have been, I just love this. And they've cut this for me. Cut that around the fire. Because this originally had a different sort of skirting. And they said they would do that. So that's going to come off. They're going to come back on Monday. So that's why I've got to do this. So... This is 28 centimetres deep. My wall here is 24, so it's gonna stick out slightly, but I like that, so it'll be slightly framed. I've got a socket here, it's actually for the fire. Um, so I'm gonna be cutting a hole here, and I've bought um, a hatch thing, or hide it, but you can go in, because I don't actually need to use that. I can, there is a button on here, so, but to have access to it. So I'm gonna do as I've done with my wardrobes. Um, I will link my wardrobes here um, in the description box below. They were using IKEA Pax wardrobes. You want to see that video, I'll link it here. But this is going to be with Billy. So I'm now going to, they have actually attached this. So I'm actually, they've left all the tools here. So I'm actually going to cut that back because I don't want that on the wall. Um, but they left me the tools to do that. So I can cut that down because um, I think that's going to cause me issues. Uh, and I'm going to crack on. But first of all, I am going to wallpaper the backs. I'm not actually going to use the backs on here. I'm going to take those off. So I'll show you the wallpaper. I literally have a treasure trove of tools left by the builders. That's my cutter. So they won't mind. They said I could use anything if I want to. But I have all got my own tools, but there is one thing they've got I want to borrow. A bit rusty. Um, it's to get off. Wow, look at the size of that. Oh, this is it. Look at this. To attach how amazing is that to attach all the uh bits of wood borrow that lovely just shoved it back there so they can just chop it and push it back in it'll be fine and um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my measurements so i've got a reasonably straight wall <laughs> here and here so basically i'm going to build a frame across the bottom which will have supporting pieces in the middle. Then I shall put a piece of MDF over the top. So that's your base done. And then how that works is that raises the whole unit up and means that the skirting board can run across the bottom. So I'm going to do the wallpaper first because I'm going to be having this um, with my wallpaper. So I'm going to get on and do that. I will show you it. Wallpaper. I so wish I'd found this earlier because I bought panel bits of wood that were really expensive. This was, I think, 11 99 a roll. I two rolls. Excuse the doggy in the background. Super thick. You see the thickness there. And it's fully paintable. And they are proper ridges. It's not flat with a pattern. It's a proper ridge. Before, I'd seen it with just a pattern, and that was no good, because you paint it. Obviously, you can't. So you paint it any code you like. So I'm going to put this at the back. <laughs> My wallpaper is up. I've used three bits. I've done the cardinal sin and gone around the corner because this is going to be hidden behind a frame, so it doesn't matter, but I would never normally do that. Um, so it's about two and a half bits to do this little section. It's just going to dry now while all these little air bubbles go. So I'm going to leave it for a good few hours to really dry, and then I'm going to paint it. So this is paintable. So it's kind of a off off white colour, almost like the fireplace, really. So if that was your Taste, you could leave it at that. Then I've got my Billy bookcase and I've just ripped the back off. I bought this for £10. Obviously when you build it, I'm going to build the other one now, you wouldn't have the back on. So as you look through, you'll see panelling. So I'm now going to build the second Billy bookcase and the frame. That's what I'm going to do next while this is all dry and get all my bits ready. I'm to start cutting my frame. This is how advanced it gets. I basically measured the width and the depth of the gap. I'm doing inches because it was exactly 56 inches on the tape measure. I'm metric, so it's 56 inches wide by 11 inches deep. I'm using this amazing little cutter, which is actually my father-in-law's because we've got it here because doing the flooring. Mine's buried over there somewhere. But this one goes backwards and forwards as well, so you can do bigger bits. He said it's about 60 quid. If I can find where he got it from, I'll link it, but it's really worth investing in 
proper tools as I will uh, show you later when I use the builder's power screw gun to fix it all. But I'm going to cut my bits now. This is the wood I'm using. Everything I use I'll link below. Um, and I'm going to cut and get building the frame while I'm waiting for everything else to dry. So, second unit built, and I have officially not got enough wood. I'm going to get some more. Um, so basically, I've built a frame on the side, and a frame that is attached, screwed there, screwed there, screwed there. That's to hold the top bit on. Um, and I've just propped that there for now because I need to get a I want to get a long piece that goes all the way to the top. Um, and then I'm going to make a little frame at the top to attach. Bit, so I probably will just come out to the yeah to the roof there and then I can attach the top so that is done so that's all I'm going to do for today I'm going to let it all dry because I've put some glue and bits to hold it all together so that'll be nice and solid in the morning and then I'll do some measuring and get the wood to build the frame so it is nine o'clock Sunday morning here is the cupboards what I'm quickly going to do now is I'm just going to have a bit of a measure up because I've got to go and get a few more bits of this wood. Didn't quite have enough. I was only had three legs, so I'm going to do that. And then measure out for all my pieces. And then go and get them cut from Pinku. I'm not going to go as thick this time. I went for 38 mil last time. But I can probably go 12 mil Because it doesn't need to be anywhere near as thick. And it'll be cheaper. So I will share with you when I get back. <laughs> I've got all my bits cut, so I'm now working out using my map. I call it map, so I know where to put all my bits. Yeah, check them all, pretty cut well. The only thing I didn't do was, I'm gonna cut these myself, because you pay 50p a cut. These are the fronts of the shelves, because you make them thicker, so three centimeters, so I'll cut those down. I'm gonna do the frame first, so they are the sides, lots of spare bits. Um, so I'm gonna get attaching them all around the edge. I'm going to do the bottom first um, so I make sure that I get to the right level here. So I'm going to lift it up slightly because it's going to have a skirting board across the bottom. Uh, I was going to secure in this that's just been resting there all night. I bought a little bit more wood to put more. Um, I'm going to put a bit at the top running along here. Bits, but I'm going to get on with some cutting of wood and get it all it's morning. It's Monday morning and I, waiting for the builders to get here, I used the best tool yesterday. You can see I've put the frame on, all matched up. And I did a little test as well yesterday, because I've not done this before. I put some filler on just this section. It's quite smooth, but I wanted to see if, if that's all you needed and you paint it, you can't see them. You can still just about see them, but they are, so give it a bit of the sand down. I filled them all. So I just wanted to do a little test there. And then I used the best thing in the whole of the world. This absolute beast is the builders. This nail gun. I want one. Sadly, it ran out of nails and I can't work out how to fill the thing up. So it was good while I could um, attach uh, or I could put nails in. So... Uh, they're coming today hopefully and they'll put the skirting board along the bottom and 
got quite a few meetings today, so I think it's probably going to be the evening where I start filling some more holes and then start thinking about shell positioning and stuff. But that is the current state on Monday morning. <laughs> Okay, so the builders have finished and they have left me with the nail gun and a box of nails, which is so exciting. And this is what they've done. Excuse the mess, my blood up the wall, but this looks as if I'd done it, obviously. So that's nice, that's done. So now I'm gonna get on with attaching my corner. It's freezing cold, it's four degrees outside. I've literally been out and given the chickens their porridge to warm them up but this is where we are at the moment i am loving my curves i've got a little bit of i'm gonna have a go today because i don't have a chance to say working all day but i've got some time today this afternoon so i'm going to do some filling and i started to put the shelves on i'm gonna make sure they're nice and straight i'm gonna put another one here across there um, but the curves are on i love them they are beautiful um, and then I'm going to do some filling, lots of filling to do. Um, <clears throat> I did a little tester by putting some here, but I've also got to come up with something because these, you can get your finger down the back with these shelves, which I'm not sure matters. I don't know, but I think because it's, there's a reflection coming off the dark back of it. So I'm thinking about doing that. Um, fill all the holes, um, a slight gap there, I'm going to fill that. It's not too bad lining up. Skirting, uh, skirting board, the um, cornice at the top, got to put that on, um, and then I'm going to prime it. So it's kind of a little bit of fiddliness today, but I am loving the curve. I think once the cornice goes on, it's going to make it look just a little bit different. And it's super easy to do, just gigantic plate on a piece, a strip, probably about that width, and I just Put a big plate the biggest plate i could find and got that curve and then cut one use that as a template cut the other so it's very simple and then i we saw i added a little some blocks there which you're going to see when you stick your head in to hold it on so it's looking lovely so i'm going to carry on um i'm getting more and more ideas in my head for the hallway which i'm going to start next because that is really bad so but i've got to finish this first um so i'm going to get on with it i'll show okay. you i have been and bought some wood. I've gone for six mil, which I think is going to be the perfect depth. Uh, this cost me, I think, eleven ninety five, and I'm going to start making some doors. I've never made doors before, but it can't be that difficult. So I've got some brackets coming tomorrow, so I thought today I could start cutting them and getting them ready. So this is the before shot, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the size that I need for here, and then a single door. So basically, I need to cut three doors. today it's been a few days since I've been able to spare the time so I am back on it I've just made as you have seen the video a new door here and just made another door just cut it and glued it so I've made all three doors now I'm gonna let that just to go off for about half an hour because no one else is great but it sometimes does still move a little bit so that's gonna dry I'm making a bit of a mess on my workbench, but never mind. Then I'll fill it, cork it, um, and the hinges have arrived. So I think I've worked them out. It took a while for me to work out how on earth they work, because they come like this. And yeah, so I've got one on. They're really, really stiff. So I've put one on, see, and I'm just gonna use a random piece of wood to attach it to to see if I can work out like if I, if I can get away with putting it in those holes. So I'll have a go with them. I'll let you know I get on with these brackets, um, but they're definitely gonna do the job. So I'm gonna definitely get them on as soon as I've dried and corked them and then I'll paint everything in situ with some primer. Um, I'm also gonna go around and fill these holes as well. So you can't see these and go around and fill all the lovely little holes and then get ready for the primer and, uh, and get the coving.
on the top. Um, and I'm also borrowing a multi-tool. I really want to buy one because here is here I've sort of scratched out. I've bought this, which is an access panel. So it will slot in there because the, the switch to isolate and turn off the fire is in there. So I, I don't I don't need to use it, but just to get in there, I need to be able to switch it on and off. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get on and I'll update you in a bit. Good evening. I have managed to get the doors on. This one is driving me absolutely insane. It's just, it fits without the hinge on and it's a little bit too fat with. So I'm sanding it down a little bit, but I've got them on. It's been a little bit difficult. It's definitely difficult, more difficult than putting Ikea doors on where you have nice drilled holes and you can adjust it. But anyway, they're on now. So I'm actually um, going out for a meeting now, but I'm going to spend some good amount of time filling and sanding and getting it really neatly done. And I'm going to put the edge on there before I go anywhere near it with primer or paint. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use my filler. I might do a little bit this evening, like do the doors and stuff. So in the morning, I can make sure everything is absolutely spot on and then start doing the primer tomorrow. So we got there in the end. Good morning. I have started today doing some priming. I've also done lots of filling. Uh, so once I finished priming all of this, I've filled all of the holes I haven't used and the back slice bit, so where the backs normally slid in, um, I've filled that as well. Uh, so I'm just letting that dry, then I'll give that a good old sand and then give everything, this part, a prime. I'm definitely glad I made the shells thicker. Now it's white. Before they were two centimetres and I made them three centimetres. I've got this front on. So there is a lip underneath there. But it's starting to definitely take shape. I've just been doing some sanding and filling, making the inside a bit neat. And I'm going to go on Amazon now and choose some handles. They've got black handles actually, just some simple black handles. Um, I'm going to prime it and then I'm going to put on my corner piece that I bought just to edge it nicer because my walls aren't very straight and I'm not a carpenter just to get that done uh, but I'm gonna get on with the priming and then I'll show you once I've given it a really good prime all over and see how it looks. So I have primed everything I've just added on this v-shaped molding that I bought to give the edge a nice finish and that's gone on really nicely I glued it and then I've uh, nail gunned it as well so that's really securely on and then I've painters mated it I've been round sanded everything um filled you name it um so I'm now ready to get well I've got to prime well, I haven't got to prime the back I've got to prime the shells but I want to do all the sanding my tip is do the filling the sanding because lots of bits drop like these are the shelves at the moment they're covering these bits so i'm now going to give these a really good clean and a scrape off all these bits that have stuck um before i give it a, a good paint all this has been uh sanded filled everything so now i'm going to just clean the shelves and get going with some normal paint so it's going to have its first coat which is exciting i'll show you the paint in a minute so i'm going to get on with it good morning sunday morning and I'm about to put up the coving. I've given it another paint. I have decided to not paint the back because actually it's quite a nice contrast. So I'm keeping that. I put my lovely handles on. Um, I've got to give this another coat. I went for these really cute gold handles here. Uh, one slight issue, which again is more visible on camera, is when I attach the brackets, they've ever so slightly indented there. Um, so I needed a slightly shorter screw, but they were really short screws. So, hey, in real life, I'm not on this camera. You can't really notice it. I'm really happy how the end now looks. One annoying thing is I drilled in that screw and I'm trying to find my pliers to pull it out and fill it. But apart from that, it's all right. It needs another quick coat. And I've just been painting the shelves and bits and pieces and hiding the extra brace that I put there that actually I probably should have put it a bit higher and then you wouldn't see it never mind I've got something that fits you won't see that um and a little bit more paint at the top it's actually really good to look through the camera because I can see where I need to paint with the naked eye you can't so I'm, I'm going to put the coving on there it's going to stick out a little bit and then I'm going to get another quick coat and I'll show you using this this is the stuff I bought for the bathroom 
and then I put it in on my wardrobe as well, Pax wardrobe. So I'm still using the one pack that cost me 30 quid. So it goes a long way. So I'm going to stick that up now, give it another paint, and then I will show you the finished result. Okay, so the coving is up. I don't think my walls are straight because there is a slight gap there. Um, but anyway, it is up. So I'm now going to do lots of filling and paint that top bit and give it another coat. And then I will show you and talk you through once it's finished. So if by magic. So here we are, it is finished. I am delighted. I am super pleased how it's turned out. And I've got this light that you can see as well. I'll quickly show you that. It's a battery powered light. I put the bracket on and then the whole light just slides off when you want to change the batteries. So it comes with this. Um, it's much, the, the camera is well, making it flick and it's making it look very central. Actually, what I'm looking at it, it lights up the air really nicely. Uh, but I'm happy with that. I'm so happy how it's turned out. If I sit here, the view now, we have the fireplace, uh, which is not on. And then this fits beautifully. Um, the only thing I haven't done is I actually run out of painter's cork. So I need to do that at the top. But apart from that, I am so pleased with it. Please do uh, hit the subscribe button so you get a notification when I upload the next load of renovation videos. Please do follow me on Instagram and I'm also adding a few reels as I've gone along. I filmed for that as well. So I hope you found it helpful. I think it's turned out even better than I possibly could have thought with all the curves on the top, I think really make it look nice. And I'm so pleased I used the wallpaper on the back and didn't paint it because it actually shows up better. So I hope you found that helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.